and welcome to day seven of learning to program in Ruby. Just real quick, if you haven't seen me before, this is a video that I uploaded yesterday, and it's in response to a video that Craig Chamberlain put up talking about making money on YouTube, and I added in my additional thoughts into my video response. So I'll put a link to that in the description, and you can check that out. Also, I met somebody uh, about two weeks ago who does reviews on devices, all electronic devices pretty much and he does also he does predictions as well and I don't do those types of things so I thought maybe I'd refer my subscribers to him I actually met him on a Chris Perillo live cast and it turns out we actually live only about an hour away from each other in real life so that was definitely um, I don't know what that is destiny or whatever but anyways check him out he's a really cool guy and uh, he's giving away a modded Nintendo 3DS to anybody or he's doing a drawing to anybody who subscribes to him between now and Christmas. So definitely go over there and subscribe to his channel so that you can win that sweet Nintendo 3DS. So let's go ahead and minimize that. And today we're going to be learning about hashes. So go ahead and type in hash brown underscore. And we're going to set our first hash to we gotta do curly braces, start doing a string. And the first item we're gonna list on our hash is going to be topping one. Make sure to put these in quotes. Topping underscore one. And we're gonna set that equal to or greater than. And we're gonna make that cream cheese or sour cream. Cream cheese sour cream. We're going to put a comma. We're going, to, we're going to go to our next item. Topping two. Equal to or greater than. We're going to set that equal to butter. Now do topping three. Set that equal to or greater than salt, comma, topping four. And we're going to set that equal to ketchup. Did I do hash browns? Hash brown, hash brown with sour cream, butter, salt, ketchup. Well, so our hash brown is in an American restaurant. Delete that there. After our hash, our curly bracket down here, make sure to end it. And go ahead and save the file. Oh, wrong button. Go ahead and save the file. Then open your command prompt with Ruby and pull that file in. Hash2 is what I saved it as. There we go. Pull that in and hit enter. Now notice that it doesn't give us anything as a feedback. And it's because we haven't commanded Ruby to do anything. So let's go back to our editor. So what we need to do now is tell the program to output one of these items. So what we need to do is type puts and then we type in our hash and then we use brackets, quotations, and then we type in topping two, underscore two. Go ahead and save the file. Open your command prompt with Ruby, and pull it back in, and hit enter. You can see that it output butter even though we said puts hash brown topping two, if we look to topping two, we see that topping two is equal to or greater than butter. And so that is what it put out for us. So if we want to put another element of our hash, all we need to do is go ahead and highlight that, copy it, paste it, control C, control V, change this to three, hit save, open your command prompt with Ruby, Put 
in your file, pull in hash2, and hit enter. And it gives us butter and salt. So there's another way to create a hash, and that is called a hash.new. So go ahead and type in first underscore hash. And we're going to set that equal to capital H hash.new. Go to the next line. So we need to create some items for our hash. And to do that, what we do is we type first underscore hash. We're going to do the square bracket. And then we're going to do quotations. And we're going to type first underscore name. And we're going to set that equal to your name. Then we're going to go to our, uh, we're going to type first hash again. And we're going to do square, square bracket. We're going to make that our nickname. And we will set that to day. Then we're going to do first hash again. We are going to make that last name. Now notice that we use the equal symbol and not the equals or greater to on this style of creating a hash. Go ahead and save that file. Now you can go ahead and put puts first hash square bracket first underscore name save the file open your command prompt with Ruby and pull the file in and hit enter you can see that it's output Jacob so it's a little bit different method but the reason I'm showing you it is that we're going to be going over the dot chomp method in the next tutorial and what that is going to allow us to do is it's going to allow us to get user input so the user will be able to insert their name into the program and then it will feed back to them saying your first name is Jacob or your first name is Andy whatever your first name is it's going to be able to output that and that is why we need to do it this way because that is how we're going to be able to collect our, our dot uh, chump our user input so we will see you in the next episode hope this was a good one if you haven't already subscribe to my channel please go ahead and subscribe i really appreciate it thumbs up if you like the video and we will see you tomorrow